Assalamu alaikum, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to have a really quick and fun one, which is border animations. So in this component, we're going to be using only CSS to animate our border, but there is a really beautiful UI trick that we're going to learn today. As usual, you can head over to simplyui.io where you can get the component totally for free and get like a simple article where we explain how we built this component. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. All right. So first of all, let's understand how we can create this animation. I started here in Figma so we can understand the process. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a parent container and within that parent container, we're going to have like an element and with conic gradient CSS class, we can achieve this element or this style and using keyframes, we're going to animate this element to rotate within that parent container. The idea here is to have another container or a smaller one with the exact same background. As you can see, it hides the full element except the edges. In this way, we only see the edges rotating and it gives the effect that the border is rotating. Perfect. Amazing. So now that we have an understanding, let's go back to code. Let's start by understanding our layout. So we have a simple div with a size, rounded corners and a dashed border, which is this one. Perfect. And the inner container, which is this one with an overflow hidden. So we don't see the edges of the element. This is component when we're going to add the rotating element using CSS. We're going to create this card wrapper in a second. And inside it, very simple layout where we basically showcasing the logo and a small text right here, as you can see. All right, now let's create our CSS folder. Before we head over to our CSS folder, so we can create the rotating element. Let me give you a quick UI trick that you can use within your component. So the way we can get like a visual hierarchy or chemistry when it comes to the rounded corners or the rounded edges, especially if we have inner containers, is the following. It's very simple rule. I want to say the rule first and then I can show you in the code. So basically the child container rounded corner value will equal the rounded corner value of the parent minus the padding of the parent. So let, for example, if, if we head over here to the actual dashed border here container, we can see that the rounded value is XL in Tailwind. That means 12 pixels, right? And the padding here is four pixels. So the inner container value, the rounded value should be the rounded value of the parent minus the padding, as we said. So it should be 12 minus four means eight, eight pixels. So that's exactly what we did here. It is rounded LG. This is the only and simple way if, if you want to have a visual hierarchy in your containers. All right, now let's write our CSS class. So if we head over to our CSS folder, we're going to see that we have a card wrapper class and a border animation here for the keyframes. Let's start by the card wrapper. We want to add that element before the card wrapper. We can use the before attribute in here. We want to add a content and that content is going to be an empty string for now. So we can see something. The position should be absolute and the left. It's going to be minus 25%. Same thing for top. It's going to be minus 25%. The height is going to be 150%. So we can ensure that the element exceeds the container so we can see it throughout the full rotation. And the width is going to be the same thing, 150% with a background, which is conic background, as we said. So we can use the conic gradient in here, and it takes a couple of arguments. The first color with a degree, the second color with a degree, and the third color, which is transparent with a degree. So if we go back now here, you can see that we have the element appearing. Amazing. Now, what we need to do is we need to use keyframes to rotate that element. So let's have as an identifier border spin, for example. At 100%, it should be transform rotate minus 360 degrees. Amazing. So in order to use these keyframes within our class, we need to add an animation. And within this animation, it's going to be border spin, the name. Let's give it, for example, seven second should be linear and infinite. Perfect. So as you can see, the border is rotated. Let's add a very simple hover animation within the container just for fun. What we can do is 
within our parent container, we can add a shadow XL. And this shadow will be uh, with color of white 5. And let's give it a duration of 1000 milliseconds, which is one second, and another delay of one second. This gives a beautiful effect that I'm actually using on my UIs lately. So if I hover, it's going to wait one second, it shows the light. Since we have a dark background, it's going to show the same light as the light. If I go out of, or hover off, it's going to wait another one second to turn off. All right, that was our simple component. Hope you like it. As usual, you can head over to Simply UI, link down below. Feel free to grab the code and use it within your projects. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.